Hey, what's up everyone? I made this video to show you how to use the trigger inputs on an S-Pod Bantam. I'll be using my Jeep Wrangler JL to use the trigger inputs to activate and deactivate the rock lights when I use the key fob to unlock and then lock the Jeep. So this is switch number six, which is the switch where my rock lights are installed. So I want these to come on when I unlock and then go off when I lock. To do this, I'm going to use the courtesy lights above the pedals to the right of the OBD2 connector. Simply unplug the connector and then use one of the positive wires to tap into. I ended up using the yellow wire, but the white green wire was also positive. I don't claim to be an expert or know everything about this, so I'm sure someone who sees this might know if there's a difference in these wires and can confirm or correct me if I'm wrong. But for now, it seems to be working fine and I'm happy with it. Once you tap into the courtesy light, run that wire to the Bantam and insert it into the input that corresponds to the switch that you want to activate. In my case, as I said before, it's number 6. Then there's the jumper that I have circled here. This controls if all the inputs are to be positive or negative trigger inputs. I had it wrong in the beginning and the rock lights would come on after locking the doors. So I then read the S-Pod directions and learned that there was a jumper here that needed to be changed. So once I changed the position on the jumper, all was good after that. As I said, I'm not an expert, but let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Anyway, hope this video helped and have a good one.